Hello, we are back with watching the finale, and uh, in the last video, the like the last 5-15 seconds, I may have said some very bad words, I actually don't know, but anyway, um, Ink Die, we want Ink Die to go die and cry. We hate the white and Ink black Die. Mayor stands before me. We the hate four this legs mayor. are planted firmly to the ground, mm. like a viper coiled to strike. Her intense yellow irises stare back at me. Scrutinizing the scene the before her. Slap they seem to glow from behind her jet black mane. Not much has changed from the last time I saw her. A pang of guilt strikes as I wonder where her cult is. She makes her way over, placing herself between Mag and I, separating us. As I try mm -mm -mm. to step around her to reach out to Mag, her voice comes out like ice. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Look, I don't know your fucking I would name, do everything but you I am was... Ink Dye, and I don't appreciate you terrifying my mere friend. Well, I don't my appreciate you existing. As the name hits me like a brick wall. By the way, I'm You're gonna be extremely mean ink to Ink Dye. You. Yes, <laughs> you heard me. Now, if I were you, Mag, this little scrawny bitch is Ink Dye. <laughs> Mag's eyes are locked on mine. She is very as scrawny. As Ink Dye begins to help her up. I feel cold pinpricks spread across my coat as the pieces finally click into place. I knew it! I fucking knew it! She, she hurt you, knew didn't it. she? I shuff a hoof in that bitch's face, locking my eyes on Mags. Why the fuck didn't you just tell me? So many sleepless nights just staying up with you, comforting you with all those fucking nightmares! All because of this little cunt? I could have handled her myself. All, all you, you had could've. to do was just tell me. T punch trust her right me. now. I knew I should have pried more. I Please punch Ink Die right you. now. Mag retracts back into her mane. <laughs> I clench my teeth. Enough is enough. I channel power into my horn and shove Ink Die away from Mag. Yeah. Ink flails okay. through the air and I take a step closer. Come on, we can take it right now. She cowers come on. back as I come face to face to her. Mag, please, you need to listen to me. I have to tell you a story, okay? A story. About us and how it's we were supposed story. to be together. I beg it's a great story. as I reach it's a, a hoof up one. to her face. Her shaking form remains rooted to the spot. As tears flow freely from her eyes, just this as I'm about to start, crazy. I clear my throat and take a deep breath. It's then that I realize she doesn't smell of lavender. Oh! I think you've told enough stories. Whoa! Oh! 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 That is that is slightly Without horrifying. Warning, obsidian tears Multiple through eyes the around eye. us. Melting everything into puddles. Mag's form Here begins to are. dissolve and fade into the void as I scream out. No, I just found her. You can't fucking take her from me, fate. Not now. I know what I'm supposed to do. I feel inky coils wrapping around me again, oh, dragging not again. me down. They rend and shred at my new flesh, and searing pain oh, not floods again. my senses. Uh. Pain. Mind ripping. Bone jarring pain. So much, so much pain, it's been bro. So long since I felt pain. Uh oh. But this is beyond anything I've encountered before. Oh, the fur dang. on my chest peels off in large swatches. Oh. Rotting muscle and sinew bursting from underneath as the illusion shatters around me. My muzzle and face burn as it's drenched so in acid as so coarse good. leather forces uh -huh. its way up from beneath my fur. A silent scream racks my form as the agony of lifetimes washes over me in waves. Yes. The pristine fur of my former body raining onto the floor and shatters. My shrieking quickly dissolves into shrill howls as I inhale, feeling the frigid air impale my wretched innards. I wriggle and flail, trying to fight back, but the dark coils hold me in place like stone. The smell of rotten decay overwhelms my senses. Soft moans and whimpers escape from my muzzle as I hang broken in the dark tendrils' grasp. 
tortured moans and sickly sounds say, of fleshy matter oh, reach my ears. This. Here we go. With these, effort, oh, I lift these. my head, only for my eyes to shoot open in terror. I remember, I remember that that blue pony, that cyan pony, in the front. I remember that pony so well because of how long I stared at it. Because, like, his expression, I don't know what it is about it, but, like, I just, mm, it just, my eyes are just drawn to it. Also, holy freak, this image is just, oh. My field of vision is a disgusting amalgamation of guts and gore, an endless nightmare mass of Perhaps twisted whoever drew bodies. This. Limbs that twist and contort at weird angles. Eyes bulge from sockets. Or empty sockets are all that remain as they turn in unison towards me. Mercilessly unyielding eyes glower and pierce at me as they cry out my damnation. I didn't want to die. Oh my I god. I begged you. You did this to me. Why can't I move on? I want to see my family again. Uh, What's keeping me here? I didn't deserve this. I was just looking for a road home. Why did you have to kill me? Uh, All I hear is screaming. Endless pain and torment. Uh, what did I do to deserve this? I had three bulls. They depended on me. Oh they starved without me. Oh, horrifying. I had a life, a family, and you stole them from me! Do you remember them? I clench my jaw and don't. try to glance around you. me. There's no use, curse word. I'm the one in control here. Wanna fucking bet? Oh, I ignite my yeah. horn, but soon realize something feels it's wrong. Kills. The light emanating from milk. it doesn't spread as it should. The magic is just out of reach, like some pony is muffling it with a pillow. My magic wavers and fades before shifting into jet black darkness. Look before you, curse word. Look at the pure station you've left in your wake. A crimson glow spreads from beneath me, enveloping the piles of corpses in its light, spreading like a wave of blood. The rotten husks of ponies begin to stir. Decayed limbs twitching in the blood-soaked brilliance. A unicorn with his horn impaled in his right eye shambles past wow. the torso of a gutted Pegasus as one by one they rise, coming ever closer. They are deliberate and move as one, a cacophony of snapping limbs, splattering inside blood anybody? and broken inside, bodies. Entrails fan out inside. like small tails as the gory sea rolls towards me. All of these souls have been blessed by your super special talent, Cursed Did you enjoy reading them their final stories? No, I didn't. I was just... Oh, yes, you did. You had a choice, Maybe and this a is what it brought you. It wasn't enough to damn your silly little beloved. You had to damn every pony else along the way as well. One has to think. If I could damn you, you in now, a second. Would she even have the compassion and patience to love a murderer like you? Shut up! A killer who dismembers. I wish a I had. I wish I had so many mean things to say about him. A sinful degenerate like you who I finds wish I had gratification the in the slaughter of her. innocent lives. You think I got off on killing all these fucking ponies? I never wanted this. <laughs> Your actions speak otherwise. But this was fate! Why else would- Fate? <laughs> fate is something for fools and fillies hiding under their blankets. It Don't does not my exist. Brother, fate. fate is just a sad excuse for the weak-minded. Only ponies and their decisions exist. They are damn <clears throat> Fate is for the weak-minded, you say? But I'm fated to die. I'm fated to breathe as long as I live. Now tell me, tell me, tell me. 
Breathing is not weak. Breathing is strong. <laughs> um, but actually, you could just stop breathing. You're not fated to 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 breathe. Um, fated again, fated to breathe until I die. If I stop breathing, I just die. <laughs> Checkmate. Get fricked, sucker. Amazing. Get smoked. Their pain Eating. is because of you. It's your fault. It is your fault that all those ponies are dead, and you will never find peace, and you will never find magpie. Simple as that. I didn't choose my fucking cutie mark, you stupid bitch! There really is no fate. This really is my fault. I didn't ask for any of this! It's no, more ink that is fault. I didn't do anything to stop it either. They were the ones who chose to listen to my fucking stories! But I didn't have to kill all those ponies. You could have stopped None of this story. is my fault, because uh, I'm a victim of fate! This is my curse. I will bear it alone. No matter what lies you scream, curse word, I can hear the so truth many shotguns. in a rotten heart. Ink's voice echoes off into the distance as the corpse's excruciating wails drown uh, out. I really want to... Then I notice a faint blue light shimmering in the murkiness. It drifts in the air, moving closer to me. I watch it carefully, not sure what to make of it. It reaches my snout and lands gently atop it. The aura intensifies as it spreads across my Back snout. Time. And over the rest of my body, Back I time. slam my eyes shut against the brightness as the glow engulfs me. I feel a sharp tug behind my navel, and my hindquarters are yanked skywards as my Whoa. limbs are ripped free from the ebony tendrils. Ebony. The world fades into a soft blue. Exhaustion overtakes me. Blue. Up, down, nothing makes sense in this void as I spiral along in the light's warm embrace, surrounded by by the sweet scent of lavender. Lavender, woo! Lavender soft sheets brought to you by McDonald's. And dryers. Magpie? Sweet Magpie. Luna, do I feel like shit. How long have I been out? I feel like my eyes milk. slowly flutter open. I feel the cold, slimy surface of the floor beneath me as I focus the rest of my senses. A murky void of indistinct gray surrounds me, fading into blackness towards the horizon. Picking myself up off the floor, I rub my head with a forehoof, wondering where the fuck I am now. It should be obvious at this point. Hey, goody. I, I don't recognize this voice. I tense and You're in my the head, auditory. glancing back over my shoulder. Of course there's no one fucking there. There's never any pony there when I fucking look. So, what's your story, cockwaffle? <laughs> I brush off the murky residue from my cloak. <laughs> that is a good insult. Well, that was quite rude. You should be more <laughs> cautious when addressing your betters. You know what? I'm getting Chicken really waffle. tired of these games. Can we just speed this process up and get on with it? A pair of humongous golden eyes wink into existence before me, ominous Hi. and looking slightly annoyed. I quirk an eyebrow and stare up at the looming visage. So, where's the rest of you? Don't tell me they fucked you over too as well. What's it like to need to shit and uh, not have an asshole? Oh, please. I, uh, I do not, not want to think about that. Do not bring me to your level. I thought the only victim here was you. That you were merely at the whim of the forces around you. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. You don't know shit about me. And who the fuck are you to tell me what to think? My name is not worth mentioning to pathetic wretches such as yourself. I, I wonder why. I, I truly, I truly wonder why. I, I just don't know, guys. I just, I just, I just, All that matters is that I have a deal to offer you. A deal. deal. Uh huh. Yeah. One second, you're talking back to me. 
And now we're bargaining at the Tartar's flea market? <laughs> Where the fuck do you come off? Oh, how amusing. You mask your fear with arrogance, but still wonder if it's the devil himself you're mouthing off to. Don't take the deal, boss. Listen, boss. In my hand right now, I have a cosmic brownie. I could give you this delicious spine tingling brownie if you don't take the deal, you know? You're just, uh. It's pretty delicious. Stuff these things back into the box. Stuff them in. Unpause, please. <laughs> no. No, no, I'm just someone who has lurked and watched the world play out from a distance. Biding my time, Same. watching and waiting patiently because of my own... <sighs> complications. Complications? <laughs> well, I guess it like would be ink. hard to get laid without the right equipment. Huh? <laughs> the eyes narrow and I can feel hate radiating from them. A moment passes, God, and a small sigh escapes from feel, the floating orbs. Let him feel terrible. I'm here to offer you a chance. Or let her. Something I've only offered to that other mayor who was trapped in this void for so long. Other mayor? What other? As I said, this is a chance I don't grant to many. I don't have Come on, out Cursor, you know, you know there's something off. You know, only you know. in very special cases do I ever offer this. All right, all right, get on with it. Tell me what fucked up door prize you're offering me for attending this bullshit party. What if I told you I could finally make it all go away? The pain, the loss, the regret, everything. The hell you can't- I said don't bring me to your level, curse word. I do not tell lies. Brownie? In this world, I'm in control and can erase anything I brownie? choose. What do you mean by erase? Here do the brownie. I have to explain everything to you? Remove, eradicate, to wipe away. It's no feat for me to remove garbage like you if I so choose. Damn, that damn, is what damn, you want, right? Damn. For it to end, to become Nothing. Where are the garbage? Wasn't that what you were Ain't blubbering about by the fire before you were pulled into this place? What's the catch? No catch. None at all. Uh -huh. so yeah. Hard. Uh -huh. No catch. Yeah. Extremely skeptical of what's being presented. Mama, I'm about to catch you it's out of the river that and fucking throw easy. you onto dry oh, land. Oh, but it is. You would finally be released from this existence, from the endless search for her. We both know you can never find her, no matter how many centuries pass. And wasn't it you who stated that nothing compares to the loss of a beloved? It's what you truly <sighs> want. Lies, and you can bro. finally have it. Relief from this oh, world and mine. all of its fallacies of true love. Just accept my offer and I can take it all away. My heart thuds in my we ears can take you as away. I watch those gigantic yellow and eyes narrow at me, willing me to accept, to give in. Could I really be free of this pain? No more sleepless nights plagued with guilt, remorse and sorrow consuming my waking hours. I, I can't be rid of this on my own. I can't blank those feelings. They linger and burn Brown. through me. Festering like rot until there's nothing left but a hollow cavity of nothingness. And I... I only have myself to blame. This is what I've wanted. Craved for this for so long. This release. Having it thrown on this silver platter like this, though. Something doesn't feel right. It wasn't yes. wrong about Mag, though. It, it isn't right. It's not like I could find her now. It's not like I have anything else to lose. Please She's dead. remember the brownie. She no. has to be dead. My stomach churns and a fluttering sensation rises to my rotten heart. She's alive. She, she has to be dead, right? 
When the fuck alive. did I start doubting that that she was dead? I mean, she's supposed to be dead, but but this You're this still feeling, alive. The scent of lavender, her lilac eyes. My heart quivers and tinges at those memories. A sensation swells inside my chest, one that I haven't felt in so long. Hope. How, how can I, I forget love this? Hope. What, what it really meant to love her. When did I forget what she meant to me? It doesn't matter now. There's no way I'm going to do that again. I love her. There's no denying that. The real Absolutely. question here, though, is why the fuck does that thing want me gone so badly? I stare That's up at those golden her. eyes, cogs turning in my head as I try oh, to make sense of all this. You know what's Even up, come on. Even if she is dead, and I'm damned to remain like this for all eternity, I will never give up my search for her. I'm so fucking tired of all this shit. Damn Being straight, man. Fucked with and played with. They Damn can tear straight. me apart, pull me down, and drag out this pain, but I will never stop. It's my fault she's gone, and by Celestia's burning mare heat, I will figure out a way to right this wrong, so fucking help me. I shake my head, Damn a rictus smile stitching across my face. <laughs> hey, piss eyes! You can take your offer and shove it up your non-existent ass. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. You really are persistent pain in my hindquarters, curse word. You're not existent hindquarters. You under my hoof like the cockroach you are. The only cockroach around here is you. Of all true. the ponies I curse, oh, so why is it a cunt like you, who actually deserves to get her shit kicked in, that's the one bitching me out endlessly? Oh, I grit my, my teeth and watch the as the eyes begin to rise. The it's not until I see the dripping tendrils open from within the darkness. Oh, I think I remember really, really down liking the shot. The cavernous gaping mouth grows wider, lunging towards me. Inky coils lash out as I turn to run, grasping at my cloak and back hooves, and, and run, run like to the, the ground. Man and I scream you the slippery can. earth as they drag me mercilessly into the gooey, gaping orifice, poised to consume me. Uh, Luna, damn it! I'm so fucking sick of these tackles! I grouse before they drag me in, <laughs> submerging me in the onyx sludge. That's not, that's not A last that. thought occurs. Before my mind fades do remember into this darkness. Shot. At least I never gave up. Huh. It's six AM. I Chris, slowly do you still want drag the my hooves down the walkways of this I'll town. Eat the I've been so mentally exhausted as of late. It's a miracle that I'm still finding the strength to make it to work. It's the same old thing each and every same day. Same old, same old. Get up, go to work, come home to. I get up, I shower, her, I go home. Rinse I get and up, repeat. I shower, I go to work, I go home, I work all day, I go home, like I go to all sleep. All I ever do now is work. The long, unending hours. So I, shower, I can provide for the both day, of us. Home, go to sleep. She gets to stay home, fritter away her time on her stories. Coming back to a nice home-cooked meal should not be too much to expect. What could she possibly be doing all day that it would be too difficult for her to ensure something is prepared by the time I get home? The lack of understanding on her part drives oh, me up a wall. Man. It's happened too many times this week alone. Oh, she doesn't appreciate the amount of time and effort I put into this life for us. Oh, a sigh no, escapes my lips as I oh, approach the front no. of our Sometimes I don't like remembering things, but it's not like it matters because oh my god, we're about to go through another painful part. Oh my. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having I'm having a night right now. I'm I'm having I'm having I'm living a life <laughs> life B life uh -huh. B living in this city, especially at the station I'm occupied. A good number of luxuries are to be expected. It's a shame, though, that noble ponies of such standing cannot recognize my place among them. Noble ponies? <laughs> I read to fucking Coltson. I reach the door oh, oh and open it. Oh my god, that actually scared the... F oh! Didn't realize I was playing a horror game, my god. With my hoof. I was not expecting that. I was not paying The familiar attention. sights of our lush interior greet attention. my eyes. They peruse the lavish furnishings and finally come to rest upon my little bird. She looks as gorgeous mm -hmm. as ever. Her mm -hmm. long, luscious mane down. Oh, that's not a she happy seems face. startled by my presence, turning around suddenly, wide eyed and. Frightened. Oh, this is oh, the uh, the, the you're, you're home early. I didn't think you would be home this soon. I this is, this still is have that a lot of scene. to finish up. Um, this is like that cooking. Scene. cooking. Um. No, this does not look like my dinner, Magpie. What is that you are hiding? I sneer as I hang my scarf up on the nearby coat rack. That's a Hurts and Hoops Day present. I, I wanted to get you something, you know, nice. I trot over, watching her carefully. The silly notion of this holiday had slipped my mind, especially with all the hours that I have been working. She turns her gaze to the ground uh, as I examine the wooden box resting on so the table many behind her. Think I... hmm. It's a simple wooden box, crudely worked. It appears to have a black drop-shaped inlay good. in the center, box looks as good. a sad intimidation of the prestigious mark upon my flanks. I had some extra funds stored away, and I just wanted to surprise You're you. You're hiding funds? No, I wasn't hiding it from you. I just had it stored for- For what, Magpie? How did you even get for, the funds for, for this? For you! You're working you some mean? side common job under my nose again, aren't you? Did you forget that I provide everything you need? It's not enough that I work my hooves to the bone for us. No, you have to spit on that. You... Ink dye. You don't have to do that, you freaking idiot. Oh my... This is one of those times where... I wish I could curse. I won't. But oh man. Oh man. Bro. If I had... If I was a different person, oh, you better believe I would be saying the most insane freaking stuff ever. Um, it would be terrible. It would be horrible. Cover your ears, children. Oh, man. Woo! Uh -uh, Working man. like a common mare. I just wanted to get you a new quill and scroll set. You've used that other one for so long, it looked worn down. I just thought... That's always the problem, Magpie. You tend to think when that isn't your strongest feature. You're still the same pathetic, naive mare I found. <laughs> Just look at this garbage. Did you really think that I would enjoy having this trash cluttering up our home? I want to punch money could have been so used for badly. something else. Something of worth. Do you even know how much this beautiful house costs? To live in this city? Of course you don't. Just like you can't fathom what it would mean for you to be seen purchasing this. Did you tell any pony who you were getting this for? The last thing we need is for any of the ponies in my circle finding out that we're... Ain't that your words don't matter. Shut the frick up. Per usual. You never do. No, I wasn't thinking. I should have told you about the money. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to upset you. I just... I wanted to do something special for you. Something special? Do you even understand how stupid that sounds? Wait, I've already you told you what I expect of you, and trash like this is nowhere near on that list. You were supposed to stay home and enjoy all of this. You literally have everything you could ever want. Why do you continuously disregard my wishes? Please. Like, like, wow. I don't, I don't understand how Ink dies. Like, her mindset is so twisted and st oh, Ink die. How did this happen? I am, I am actually genuinely curious how Ink Dyke got this way. Was she born this way? Did something happen to her to make her, like, well, we know about the whole prison experiment stuff, but I'm talking before that, like, when she was, a, like, a, a filly. Hmm. Hmm. Why is it so hard to tap on the pause button? God. I didn't mean to make you mad. It was it was just a gift. Just a gift? This stupid little box could have cost us our future. I have worked too hard to let some old bigoted aristocrat take away everything I have labored over because of your incompetence. Why am I so angry? My fear <sighs> bristles. Stop. Ah. I take in a calming breath. Refusing to let her stupidity ruin all of this. My little bird just needs to be put in her proper place. What pony would not want the riches, the glory, even if we were only ever seen as best friends? Ain't I? I have a what? brownie. Best friends? I grip the box in my hoof, offended by the touch of such rough hewn filth beneath my fur. Curse word breakthrough. Her eyes breakthrough fill curse with word. the panic, and a jolt of excitement runs down my spine. Uh. My heart begins to pound in my chest. I need more. So much more of her. Of my uh. little bird. What I the? hurl the box at her chest, anticipating the impact the delicious scream to follow. Uh. What are you doing? No, put that down. <laughs> but instead, my ears are greeted with the sound of it. The it? box shatters against a hazy blue field as my vision shifts to red. How dare she? Curse word. How dare she use it? Here in my home. Cur is she regrets breaking, through? breaking my rule. My rule? What the fuck is Curse going on? Curse break through. I'm better than this. Stop. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use my magic here. I know you said never oh, to use that's it. Right. I just. Uh, I still, silence still her me. with a still quick strike me. across the muzzle, <laughs> dazing her. Her front legs buckle and she strikes the floor in a meaty thump. Her legs curl in defensively as she whimpers and my body... She has a lesson to learn though, soon. Ain't that you Stop have it, many man. lessons to you learn. You need to run now! Get away from me! I'm sorry, please. Oh, the, the face. I'm just trying the to make face. it a special holiday. I promise I'll never do it again. She sobs trying to back away from me oh but i know you're going to do this again you never see the whole picture and it's time i finally made you realize it my hooves pin her firmly uh, to the there floor there she is and the no what the fuck am i doing break through never... her she continues to cry out in pain excited uh. no, this isn't how it's supposed to feel Mac, it's not me! This can't be me! No, you die! Stop! The sweet satisfaction uh, of hearing her scream like that. It's in I can't control it! What the stop! Freak? Please fucking stop! I can't! I, I don't want this! I'm gonna be sick! Percy. Mac, is that you? The real I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! It wasn't me! I wouldn't! 
couldn't. I know. All you ever did was <gasps> love me. I, I can't stop it. I, I can't control my body. I, I don't ever want to hurt you like this ever. Right through. Percy, this isn't you. What? I'm so done. well done. Uh, I'm so done well with done. all of this. This fucking bullshit. What the fuck was I doing in there? Just why? This this doesn't make any sense. That is I, a good question. I, I laid my my hoof on her. I I hurt her. Uh. And I. <laughs> Nausea overpowers me, That's and I fair. retch. That's fair. Bile burns my throat and covers my muzzle. My insides knot at the thought of my hooves. My hooves on her like that. Those, yeah. those panic-stricken, tortured cries. And, and my body, why, why did I feel like that? I, I liked that. My stomach you didn't like it, ain't that, ain't that I liked it. And another wave of bile explodes from my mouth again. I... I really am a monster. Oh. No, you're not! That Come on, Magpie. Voice, Magpie. Her voice. Magpie. Why does it come to haunt me now? I don't respond. <clears throat> Smell the lavender. Curling deeper into myself, burying my face in my hooves. Hoofsteps approach, frantic and quick. Cursey, please get up! Oh, no, it's been please. so long. Just stay away from me. I can't do this anymore. I. Cursey! A pair of pink hooves yank me out of my thoughts, turning me around. A tingling warm sensation wrong, engulfs my know. form and tenderly washes away the grime and bile. I, I, I just, I just want to, like, sink. In this, I just want to marinate, and I just want to marinate in in this picture right here. Oh man! Can can we just like keep this? You know, just be like happy ending. You know, happy ending. Pretend there isn't a second part, please. Listen. I, I I can make a deal with you. <laughs> have a brownie, you know. We, we can end this right now. Have a happy ending, and you'll get the brownie, and we'll both be happy. And, but you don't want the brownie, do you? Bile you want the brownie. And soothes my nerves. The sensation fades and dissipates as she pulls me close. I breathe in the sweet scent of lavender as I bury my lavender. face in her chest. Give she me strokes sweet, my mane sweet softly, dryer sheets. rocking back and forth as she grasps me tight against her chest floof, refusing Fluf. to let me go. I rest in her embrace, trying to comprehend what's going on. Reunited. Is this really her? Yeah. My eyes find hers, and my heart catches in my chest. Her lilac eyes are warm and smiled down at me. This, this is how I remember her. Yes! The mane up in that little silly bun. Locks of hair falling gently behind her. Her smile so bright and calm. Joy Just hug for like five it. minutes. Her eyes brim with tears as she brushes a hoof softly across my cheek. I'm sorry. I hurt you, and I fucked up so much. Oh. I don't even know if you're real right now. Because she's of this real. Place, but I'm cut off as her lips meet mine. <laughs> yes. My body stiffens and relaxes. My barrier drops. I feel this. I feel her. It is her. It really yes. is, Mag. Her sweet taste oh. on my lips. Her hooves pulling oh. me in close. 
I almost I really want to be happy, but I know it's like, oh. I've been without her for so long, but I could never forget the way her lips felt on mine. Tears sting my eyes as I hold on to her, grasping Tears her for all I'm Doesn't worth. matter. The pain, the doubt, fear, and regret. It's been so much. Everything I've so had to much. endure. But it's, it's led me to her. To this moment. I found her. She's, she's here. She pulls away slowly. <laughs> I should have magicked you a breath mint. She <laughs> chuckles, wiping away a few tears. I would do I a relax joke in my that, grip in that and scenario. back so I can sit up and face her. Mag's expression drops. Kirsty, look at me. I don't have much time. She's trying to break you. I fucked up, Kirst, and I can't stop her, but you can still get out of here. I can help you get out of here. There's no fucking way I'm leaving you. I grip Ain't her no tight. Way. My no eyes way. locked on hers as I try to understand what's going on. <laughs> what do you mean you fucked up? I don't understand. <clears throat> Mag swallows hard and looks away. She rushes to her hooves and begins to pull me along. We don't have time to talk about- You unfaithful slut! Whoa! An inky coil slashes out from the darkness, twisting we go. itself Here around we go. Mag's head, Here's the dried muffling up her break. screams. Here's the freaking pizza She's ripped dried. from my grasp. The her pinprint irises on the are the one. last thing I see before she disappears into the darkness. Where do you think you're going? A single slimy tendril whips out from my left, faster than I can dodge. It blooms and forks into a web of tendrils before enveloping my left flank and side. Pain shoots down my nerves and jolts. The tendrils burrow and scythe into my flesh, yanking and pulling viciously as chunks of hide and meat rain to the floor. The dark uh. blood spreads like a cancer, tearing and peeling as it consumes me. A fiery uh. agony engulfs my other senses, becoming my entire world as I scream out in pain. My body collapses in a spasming heap I as the tendrils finish encircling so me, swarming and writhing over my fur and flesh and creating festering wounds. Over my frantic screams, though, I hear her. Ink! Stop it! Leave Curse alone! I rally my resolve. Okay. What little strength I can muster to turn towards her voice. I... I see Mag shouting and, so and screaming and I think she's reaching out. Waves of pain distort my vision. Vertigo encases my brain and my hearing fades in and out. But... But I... I could have... Warned, she said. Oh, she did say that name, curse word. The pain lessens from a raging inferno to lines of burning embers <laughs> as the writhing mass of inky blades ceases carving me just, apart. Just I hang her in the face. As they lift me into the air, the ones around my neck flexing and contorting, and I'm face to face with it. The monster. Those yellow orbs practically drip with disdain as they peer into my soul. So much. My eyes flutter as <laughs> I struggle to keep them open. Two inky tendrils slide beneath them and over my eyes, drying them open. I stare at the nightmare before me. A swirling sea of ink rise and undulates around its form, with inky tentacles rising rhythmically from the surface. Wings? I think they're wings. Shut out from so where the shoulders up. should be. They look like... like dark feathers? Maybe... quills? I... Quills. I choke down the rising Quill. terror in my gut quills. and force out. Who... Oh, uh, who the fuck are you? The ripple oh, you know who she void is. nears mine. And a smile slowly emerges below those yellow portals from hell. Pure darkness is all that greets me from within that gaping maw. The she breath is pure that darkness. emanates from within smells sterile, almost chemical, but it's also familiar. Cold and sharp, it stings the open wounds on my face. <laughs> I am ink dye, curse word! 
It's you are the worst thing to ever such exist. Chilling mirth. As an inky hoof flashes across my chest, it contorts into a mass of slicing inky blades before thrusting into my chest cavity. <laughs> Medic, please. And you created me. What? You guys have no idea. <clears throat> you guys have no idea of... The amount of dopamine, the amount of emotion, the amount of hype, happiness, and triumph I will feel when I watch the second part of this f f finale tomorrow night and just see Inktai get utterly destroyed. You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea. Then again, you might have an idea if you're seeing this in the future. And you've already seen my uh, uh, my video on the the next part of this finale. If you're if you're from the future in our scene, this is a great job. I respect you for getting this far. I gotta clap for you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, dude. Oh man. Next part's also gonna be a special one, you know. But we'll get. Indeed. Indeed. Happy noises, indeed. Oh, that's gonna be me tomorrow night. <clears throat> <clears throat>